Just give me a lip roll. Just say. Nice and easy and relaxed, especially if it's morning for you. Just up and down. We're not, I'm not even going to touch the piano for these warm ups today. We're just going to free vocalize. So I want you to make sure where you're kind of covering all different parts of your range here. So up and down. Oh, it's nice to see so many friends on here tonight. I love you guys. You can do the tongue trill if you want. And one of my personal favorites, if you have a straw around the blowing into the straw, I do have water in this cup. Does a very similar thing for the voice just to relax it as the lip roll. Now just hum, say hmm. Moving the neck around. Head voice say wee, 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 wee. Okay, so you want to let it release up into this higher place in your face. Don't just wee, 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 wee. narrow mouth keep it in that e e doesn't matter for the oo and the e vowel it can feel a little awkward because we're not used to this we often want to spread wide but keep it narrow now put a g in front of that say coo 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 especially if you find yourself in a war in a warm up especially if it's morning for you on a sunday or whatever and you find your head voice is going breathy always put a g in front of your exercise whatever the exercise is cuz that's going to help your vocal cords come together Okay, very nice. Chest voice, say, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah. Drop that jaw, ah, oh, yeah. And we wanna get that resonance in the mouth, okay? This is where chest voice primarily resonates. So try your best to not just be pulling down your head. Ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. And B is another one of those consonants that's really, really good for our warm up and workout exercises because it helps bring the vocal cords together. Ba, 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 ba. Go back to that. Ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I want to see those drop jaws. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay. Now we're going to find that middle space that's going to help you get that seamless mixed tone. So we're incorporating head and chest in this exercise, but aiming for really nasally. Say, na, 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 N U H. Na, 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 na. Na. Na, na, na. And for this exercise, it's intended to overlap, right? So we don't just have to keep it lower, keep it higher, keep it in the middle. Na, 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 right? Try to get 
all throughout your range. Na, 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 as nasally as possible. If I were to, I can't unmute you. <laughs> I have to, you would have to unmute yourself. But if you were unmuted and I could hear you, it should not sound pretty. It should not sound normal. You, you should never be afraid that you're just gonna suddenly be unmuted by me, just so you know, you're, you're safe. I don't, think I, I don't think I can have that power as the, as the host. I don't even know, but you probably don't want me to have that power, right? <laughs> Say, na, 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 na. Okay, we're really warming this one up because we're gonna use this so much in the song. Na, 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 na. Awesome. Okay. We feeling good? We feeling warmed up? Awesome. Okay. So tonight we are exploring the song, I Speak Jesus. Who's excited? Are you excited? Woo. Yeah. Um, which was originally written and recorded by the band Here by Lions. But from what I can see, it's been made super popular by Charity Gales, more recent version of it. And honestly, this song wasn't even on my radar until I got so many requests from you guys. I got emails and you guys posting in the Facebook group. Um, so many of you requested a tutorial. So, uh, and I, like, I hadn't even heard the song before. So I listened to it and now I love it. My church is doing it now. Um, and I see why you want help with it because it is a fairly challenging song to sing. Anybody having a little trouble with something in the song? Yeah. Um, Charity Gale is a vocal beast, okay? In the, in the very best of ways, just a stunning, stunning, stunning voice and so much range, so, so much range. So hopefully these tips will help you be able to nail those tricky spots. Um, and FYI, I will be doing a tutorial for her song, Thank You Jesus for the Blood, next week as part of our Easter song webinar. I know a lot of you have been asking about that one. Um, and for this tutorial tonight, I'm gonna focus just on the female range, okay? I had 95, I counted 95 requests for this song and 90 of those were from females. So guys, I'm not ignoring you, I'm just, acknowledging that this seems to be primarily a female-led song, at least from people who are watching my tutorials. But guys, don't tune out. It will still be worth your while to go through this lesson because you can use these exact same techniques, but in whatever key you're singing it in. So even as you go through this, just do your best to follow along. It might not sit in exactly the right key for you, but um, take these same techniques and apply it in your own key. Uh, Dustin Smith of Hereby Lions does it in C. If you're a guy with a fairly high voice, try out that key, but it lands on Fs and Gs pretty consistently. So I think for most guys, you'll wanna lower it to somewhere around the key of A uh, so that your top notes are sitting more at that D, E range. And that's all I'm gonna say about the male range for now. Okay, Charity Gale, does the song in E. She does a couple octave jumps in the verse in the bridge where she starts low and jumps up high. And unless you have a pretty huge range and skill to sing, um, especially those high notes in a big power mix, that key is gonna feel quite high for you. Anybody that the original key feels, feels a little bit high. Um, it, it hammers out the, these like high C sharp notes over and over. Um, so for most girls with those octave jumps, you're gonna find either the low notes are too low or the high notes are too high or maybe both. So I wanna give you strategies for all that. Of course, if the original key feels good for you, by all means, sing it there. You'll be able to apply all the techniques I'm gonna go through in this tutorial. Um, I played around with keys and I settled on the key of D for my own voice and for the purpose of this lesson, which I think is gonna work well for a lot of you girls if you work at applying these exercises I'm gonna show you. And here's why I think it's a great key. 
Um, I, I know that so many of you are working with my techniques to develop a, you know, that powerful contemporary sounding mixed voice, but how many know it's a work in progress? It's a work in progress, right? And you know what I tell you that of course, I want you to be working towards increasing your skill, but also, and just as importantly, or maybe more importantly, I want you to embrace where you're at and what you're best at today so that you can lead most confidently at your current skill level. Okay. That's really, really, really important. Um, generally from my experience working with a lot of different worship team singers, female vocalists tend to fall in one of two camps, either head voice dominant or chest voice dominant. If you are typically a head voice dominant singer, meaning you tend to be more comfortable singing with head resonance and um, with singing in your mid to higher range, you probably are struggling a bit with the lower sections in the verse and bridge. Anybody, you can identify those lower sections are a bit harder for you, okay? Um, so my suggestion for you is to not sing any of the song low. Just sing everything up the octave. And even though you might be comfortable in the original key, what I like about the key of D still for you is that everything sits that little bit lower and hopefully that will help encourage your voice to engage a mix of resonance rather than just head voice, which can sound quite classical if we don't watch it, right? Um, and I'm gonna give you some strategies to help with that. If you are typically a chest voice dominant singer, meaning you tend to be more comfortable singing in your chest voice, you've got a lot of that, oh yeah, we were doing. Um, you tend to be more comfortable in your low to mid range. You're probably struggling with the opposite, right? Those high notes are probably feeling crazy high for you in the original key, but you probably love the lows in this song. Anybody love the low parts? <laughs> more of you, yes. Um, well, for you, I would suggest the key of D as well, because if you can sing the low notes in your chest voice in the key of E, um, I just want to speak the name of Jesus, you'll be able to do it in D as well. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. And the high notes are going to be way more manageable. I, I speak from experience, my friends. <laughs> I love it in this key, uh, key of D, so I'm gonna teach you to love it too. Okay, so let's take this from the beginning, verse one and two, and um, I will just, I pulled up the lyrics here. I'll just post this, just the, the lyrics in the chat, um, or if everything is just, if you're on a phone or whatever and it's really small for you, uh, or you're watching this later, I encourage you pull up the lyrics for yourself because I'm not gonna have them all written out for you. The main thing we want here at the start is to keep it subdued, okay? Save lots of power and volume in your voice for the later parts of the song. And this applies whether you're singing it up the octave or down, okay? So for my gals singing up the octave, Okay, this is, if you can identify, and, and feel free if, as we go through this, try out everything, everything I'm, I'm doing, but I'm talking about just kind of making decisions as you go to lead the song, kind of identifying your, your current skill level as head dominant or chest dominant. Is that making sense? Okay, um, for my gals singing up the octave, more head, more head dominant, we're gonna use a goo, as a pathfinder exercise. So everybody say, coo, 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 coo. Okay, so I want you to sing this first light. Um, let it release up into your head mix here. Keep it very, very speech-like, almost a little choppy, a little bit staccato. Uh, we're gonna use that G consonant of the goo to help us gain stability. Um, so uh, here we in. Okay. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Okay. Very speech-like. And another little technique I want you to 
employ here is what we call, I don't know if you can read this, if you're tuning in live, drop-offs, okay? And if you've been through Master Your Voice, you're familiar with this. It's exactly what it sounds like. Instead of fully singing the ends of all the phrases, we're just going to let some of them kind of drop off a cliff, okay? So instead of, um, I just want to speak the name of Jesus over especially being pregnant, I don't even have time to breathe <laughs> in between those phrases when I hold them all out like that. So I'm just, I'm really gonna go for the drop-offs, okay? So instead of that, we're gonna sing, um, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Lots of room to breathe. Cause I know there is peace within your presence, right? I'm just, you hear how I'm just letting those words go, okay? Especially on lines one and three. Uh, speak the name of Jesus, Jesus. I'm like barely singing the end of that word. Uh, I know there is peace within your presence, presence. Drop off the cliff, okay? Say drop off a cliff, drop off a cliff, okay? Um, so let me, I will just sing the, just the first two phrases with the Pathfinder exercise so you know what we're doing and so you can kind of, we want to acclimate our ears to this, right? It's not just about always singing all the time. So I will sing just these first two lines and then we'll do this together, okay? So, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind. Okay, notice how we'll do we'll do all four lines together in a sec, but notice how I'm almost under singing those phrases. Okay, it's very, very speech-like. The words are a little bit choppy. That's what we're looking for in the contemporary style, not holding on to the phrases really long. Okay, we also want to make sure. Uh, we're keeping our vibrato subtle, not overpowering. So let's do that together. Goo to the lyric, but we'll do it on all four phrases of the verse here. So just kind of follow along here. Here we go. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart. In every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. Okay, and guys, if you're tuning in here, you'll be able to even just try some of these techniques. You can try it up the octave if you want, but you can just go down the octave, that's totally fine. But girls, you can apply that exact same thing to the next verse. We're not gonna sing it right now, but just plan to sing it the same way. And now for my gals singing down the octave, this is quite low in the female range, but very doable with the right techniques. But number one, the resonance has to be in your mouth, okay? We have to ground that in our chest voice, in that mouth resonance. Head voice will not cut it down here. It's gonna be, uh, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. No, don't do it, okay? We've gotta have that, oh yeah, everybody say, oh yeah, right? I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Okay, we've gotta engage that mouth resonance. You're gonna wanna open your mouth. Secondly though, because this goes so low, even if you are chest dominant, which I am, it can easily start sounding 
dull and even bottoming out in our chest voice. So what we're gonna do with our Pathfinder exercise is actually aim to find a mix of chest and pharyngeal resonance so that we li essentially lift the resonance into a little bit of a brighter sound. It makes it a lot easier to sing. Um, it's the difference between, oh, sorry, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> I talk fast and the pregnancy doesn't help. Uh, it's the difference between, um, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus, all kind of chest dominant, and I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. I just wanna speak the name of Jesus, okay? It's subtle. But notice how that second one is a little bit lighter and brighter. And you'll just have to trust me. It's a lot, and, and you'll try this out. It's a lot easier. It feels a lot easier on my voice to sing it that way. Okay. So firstly, grounding the resonance in your chest voice. Secondly, mixing in some brighter pharyngeal resonance. And thirdly, use that drop-off technique I was doing up the octave. It helps, it helps even way more in this lower octave. So instead of, um, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind, cause I know there is peace within your presence. See how it's even bottoming out in my chest voice? So what we wanna do is, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind, cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. So just let those words go. Just kind of practice that. Say, uh, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Say Jesus. And then I know there is peace within your presence. Presence, just let it go. And even that final one, I speak Jesus. Jesus, there's honestly really no need to hit, try hitting those low notes. It's way easier to sing and it sounds more speech-like and contemporary. So I think it's a win-win. But guys, just know that the things that I'm teaching you, this is not about, like obviously I'm teaching you if efficient things to do with your resonance. But with the stylistic things, this is not like right or wrong. If you sing it with a drop off or you don't sing it with a drop off, this is not like the scientific way to sing, okay? I'm just giving you things that I think will help your voice, okay? Um, so let's just try this. We're gonna use a chest pharyngeal mix, na, like we were doing in the warm up, um, and go exercise to lyric. And don't forget to think about those drop offs as you go. I'll just demonstrate these first couple of phrases first, then we'll do it together. So na 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 na. I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Na 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 na. Over every heart and every mind. Let's try that together. All four phrases. Na 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 na. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Na 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 na. Over every heart and every mind. Na 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 na. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. Drop it off. Na 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 na. I speak Jesus. Is that feeling good so far? Awesome, okay. There's a lot to go through in this song, so I'm gonna just keep breezing through things. If you think of questions as we go, post them in the chat, we'll get to them later. Um, but we'll just keep going through things and you can come back to this stuff later and finesse it on your own. Okay, moving into the chorus. In the key of D, this is gonna sit in a pretty nice range for probably most of you, so we're not gonna focus in on resonance here, but I do want you to practice that little drop-off technique because it's one of my absolute favorite things about how Charity Gale sings this song. If you listen to the recording, we don't hear, uh, cause your name is power, your name is healing. 
Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows. Again, pregnant woman here does not like not having breaks <laughs> between those. I love the drop offs, okay? But seriously, if you haven't listened to the original recording or you haven't listened recently, go listen later because what we hear is, uh, the lyrics, because your name is power, your name is healing. Da, 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 da. Break every stronghold. She's just like off of it. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows. Okay, sounds so good, so stylistic, so speech like. And what I love is how it contrasts so beautifully to holding out those, the, the middle and end words. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm calling them drop-offs versus hold-outs, okay? And we actually want both in this chorus, um, but it contrasts so beautifully. Your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadow, Run like a fire, right? We hold that one out. So let's just try singing through this chorus. And I want you to aim for that contrast between the drop-offs and the holdouts. And in terms of dynamics here, we're just, we're still in the first chorus. We just wanna make sure that we think about where we're going. There's a lot left to the song. So don't give away all your volume and power yet. Keep it in that lighter place to leave room to build, okay? So no specific exercise, we're just thinking about the drop-offs, okay? So here we go. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. You can add a little bit of subtle vibrato to the end there, that's nice. Okay, moving into verse three. Okay, everybody is gonna be up the octave here. And what's really important for this section is to have a noticeable dynamic shift where it's like, bam, here we are in verse three. Okay, that's, that's what we wanna feel. That's what you wanna lead your, your musicians into as well. And we wanna do the same thing with our voice. Um, so that bam effect though, that's gonna be reliant on you having sung those first sections more subdued, especially for those of you who are choosing to sing everything up the octave in this song, you really need to aim to sing the earlier parts lighter. Otherwise, there won't be enough contrast going into this verse, okay? Um, if you came from singing down the octave in those first verses, there will be an obvious, sh an obvious shift just naturally because you're jumping from low to high. But in any case, for both camps, I really want you to get out of your more head dominant or chest dominant place and aim for a really bright, powerful mix here, okay? So everybody, again, say, na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Okay, pharyngeal resonance is gonna help you find that middle place. It's gonna help you sound bright and contemporary. There's so much stability in the voice because um, uh, because of the way the pharyngeal mix coordination, it brings the vocal cords together naturally. Okay, that whiny cry. So let's go back to that nasally pharyngeal nut exercise. I'm gonna demonstrate you for you first, then we'll do it together. And here we're just gonna sing the na three times. So we're gonna do three na's, then right into the lyrics. Okay, so it's gonna sound like this. Um, na, 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 I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Na, 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 over fear and all anxiety. Na, 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 to every soul held captive by depression. Na, 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 I speak Jesus. 
okay? We got, we got that three nas into the lyrical phrase and go super nasally on the nas and then keep your voice there. Trust it to follow in that path that the exercise is creating for you and don't, honestly, don't be afraid of sounding too nasally here, okay? It's the, when we put words in and we're opening up into different vowel sounds and consonants, it's naturally gonna, gonna normalize. But also, this is a, a really important part of the process of training your voice and just training your, your ear and your brain to be okay with that sound, okay? Because it probably sounds too nasally to you, but not to other people, okay? So here we go. Let's um, actually, I wanna, I wanna give you a couple more tips first for you to think about, okay? So um, I want you to obviously keep it very nasally. I want you to keep your mouth narrow. Everybody say narrow. Okay, now say na, 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 na. Okay, so keep your mouth narrow. Um, your jaw slightly dropped, even on some of those vowel sounds that you might tend to close up your mouth. Um, I did a tutorial for House of the Lord recently. Does anybody, some of you probably tuned in for that, where I talked in depth about this, specifically the E vowel sounds. Okay, we wanna keep the mouth more open and sing it like an I shape inside the mouth. Okay, so that's what I want you to do for um, speak for Jesus, for sure, uh, for speak, for fear and anxiety. So everybody say Jesus, like J-I-H, Jesus, say speak, speak, fear, fear, anxiety, anxiety. Okay. I know it's a lot to think about. That's why you'll need to go back again through this later. And the drop offs. Okay. Specifically on Jesus and depression. Okay. So here we go. Three nas into the lyric. Everybody together. No, no, no. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. No, no, no. Over fear and all anxiety. No, no, no. To every soul held captive by depression. No, 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 no. I speak Jesus. Very nice. I'm seeing some scrunched noses there. It's a good sign that you are <laughs> engaging your pharyngeal. I wish I could hear all of you. Um, and then we're just gonna take that same mix voice tone back into the chorus. So think about that. Um, we're not gonna do the now, but we're just gonna sing the lyrics. Think about the drop-offs. Think about that mix voice tone. Cause your name is power. Everybody with me. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Very nice. Okay, awesome. Let's head into the bridge. Again, we're blowing through these things. Put your questions in the comments if you have them. Uh, this, the bridge, is going to um, essentially use the same techniques as we've already worked on, um, but we're gonna go back to the choose your own adventure style for the arrangement, okay? You can start down the octave or up the octave, here, whichever you prefer, and you're gonna sing it the same way as you sang verse one. Keep it really subdued, leave room to grow. So let's start with the uh, the higher octave strategy first. We're gonna go back to that uh, goo exercise. So we'll sing a whole phrase on the goo and then into the lyric, okay? So let's just, let's do this together. We're gonna keep our mouth narrow, okay? Remember to keep some openness in your mouth on these E vowels too, okay? So we've, cause we've got the lots of Jesus and it can be tempting to go, shout Jesus, Jesus. We want J, J. Everybody say Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus. Okay, here we go. So, coo, 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 coo. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Coo, 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 coo. Jesus in the streets. Coo, 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 coo. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Coo, 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 coo. Jesus for my family. Coo, 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 coo. Coo, coo. I speak the holy name. Jesus. Okay, so if you are more comfortable up high, if you're more head dominant, that's where you're gonna wanna live. Now down the octave, this is where my voice prefers to live. And I know many of you. <laughs> um, so this is the other option of where you can start this bridge. We're gonna sing this together. Again, na to the lyrics. So remember, we're grounded in our mouth in chest resonance, but we're mixing in some pharyngeal. Um, it's not nearly as important down the octave to modify that E vowel. That's more so when we sing high. Um, so you don't really need to worry about this one when we're singing low, but um, we do wanna incorporate the, the drop off techniques because that will again really help you here. So here we go. I'm gonna go na all throughout the phrase and then into the lyric. Um, na, 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 shout Jesus from the mountain. Na, 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 Jesus in the streets. Na, 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 Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Na, 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 Jesus for my family. Na 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 I speak the holy name Jesus. Okay, so I'm thinking about keeping some of that resonance here. We don't often think about that for low, super low stuff, but it really does help so much. And just as much as you need to, just let those words drop off. Don't worry about every word sounding perfect here, okay? It's it's part of it sounding like speech-like that it just sounds raw and, and organic, okay? So just let that happen. Okay, so now everybody's going to be up the octave as we repeat the bridge here. Um, so big pharyngeal mixed voice. If you came from already singing up high, you're going to want to make sure that there's a shift from that lighter tone to a bigger, brighter tone, engage way more nasality in your mix. Um, and if you're coming from down the octave, same thing. Don't just stay in too heavy of a chest voice tone. We need that tilt into the pharyngeal to be able to lock into these higher notes. Okay. So here we go. Are you ready? Everybody say, nah, 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 nah. Okay, here we go. Na 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 na. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Na 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 na. Jesus in the streets. Na 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 na. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Na 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 na. Jesus for my family. Na na. Na na, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Keeping it there the whole time, okay? Are we feeling good? We feeling pretty good? Might be cracking, breaking apart a little bit. It's okay. Don't freak out. This is your first time going through this with techniques like this. You can expect that to happen, but expect it to get better as you keep working on these techniques, okay? Um, and beyond that, you can, uh, you can do more choruses, bridges, verses, take the song where you wanna go arrangement-wise, but what I've given you is some strategies and different options of tonal qualities 
that you can choose from essentially to really give the song great dynamics. And that's so, so important that we don't just sing everything the same, right? We need that. You've seen me plot out the, I didn't do it for this song specifically, but you've seen me plot out that the graph, right? Where we, we want those dynamics. We want those different tonal qualities in the song. Okay. Thumbs up. Do we want to try singing through this whole thing once to, to kind of just feel it out in your voice? <laughs> I need more than one, one person giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, take a drink of water. <laughs> I need a drink of water. <laughs> and we'll just kind of take it through uh, start to finish here. Not with the exercises, but just singing it through with the lyrics. So just give your voice a little breather. And I will play along here. Okay, so feel free to choose, uh, choose uh, to be up or down the octave, whatever you want, okay? I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus Here we go, verse 2 I just want to speak the name of Jesus. If you're down the octave, keep that pharyngeal engaged till every dark addiction starts to break. Very speech-like. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Here we go into the chorus. Keep it light. Because your name is power. Your name is healing, your name is light. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Are you ready for this? Here we go.
over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I love it. I was just imagining our voices just as like a choir there. I'm sure it would have sounded. I wish we could do that on Zoom. So good. Okay. So use the little raise hand uh, in the reactions down here if you would like help with one of these techniques, if you want to sing for us and get a little bit of help. Oh, somebody's saying, uh, there's a question here. Uh, okay, Justice is saying, and you guys, okay, I'm not seeing any little raised hands yet. You guys think about that while I answer this question. I wanna see some. Uh, I can go nasally into family, but have a problem controlling coming out of that specific part. Um, so Justice, are you talking about, I'm not sure when exactly you posted it, was it in the higher octave? There, you can just unmute yourself. Yes. Coming coming out of, so coming Jesus down for out my of family. family. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. I want to go back into my chest voice because it's not that high for me, mm -hmm. but getting to that family, go nasally. But then when we start dropping, it's like, I, I want to go back to my comfort zone and that transition from pharyngeal back to where I don't necessarily need pharyngeal the whole time. Yep. Totally. So- are you willing to sing a little bit for us? Sure. Sure. <laughs> and and because I think maybe, I think probably what we'll find is we'll see, but we often think, oh, I'm coming down low. So I need to, I, I can just let go of my pharyngeal and just let it be chest voice. And that's not usually the case. We actually, we can keep it more in that pharyngeal space than we think. And D isn't bad. I try to shift it into E flat. Sure. But I can do either one. Yeah. So yeah. Let, let's just try staying in this key for now. Yeah. So just sing, sing that, maybe go into it from, uh, where is that part? Uh, just, just go into it from like the, uh, the line before, uh, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Okay. Just give yourself a little bit of runway there. Okay. Okay. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Jesus. There it is. It's totally dry. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So let let's first, and you probably are you can you can totally get that in a mix. Uh okay. Uh, on a you know when you're not singing in front of all these people and whatever and, right. and nervous <laughs> as we all can. Okay. So just give me that. Say, na, 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 na. Yeah. And I want you, cause you have justice, you have such a, I can hear such a beautiful chest dominant tone here. It's so, so beautiful. So I want you to keep that grounded in your chest voice. So don't just let it go. No, no, no. Keep it grounded here, but very nasally. So start from the bottom saying, no. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Narrow the mouth. No, 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 no. Yeah. Narrow the mouth. No, no, no. No. No, no. Yes. So say, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah. So can you feel your voice wanting to go more into a head dominant tone there? It's not not yeah not really but okay no it's totally fine so and this is something to just kind of we we grow in awareness of our own voice the more we do this um that as you go to that top phrase you are your voice is wanting to actually shift it more than it needs to up into so you're kind of coming from no 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 jesus in the darkness over every enemy and then you're going Jesus for my family, which is actually sure. more head dominant head than it needs to be. Okay. So yeah. I actually, I want you to try this in a little bit of a lower key and then we can, and then your voice will be able to bring it up, but say, uh, no, 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 no. And give me that nice, deep, rich chest tone, but nasally. No, no, no. 
deeper. We're gonna go a little lower. Say, uh, na 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 na. Na 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 na. Open open your mouth. Open your mouth. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. when you when we close our mouth, what happens? It doesn't have anywhere to go but head. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Say na na na. Na na na. Yeah na. Na. Yes. Okay. That's the tone I want. Can you guys hear okay. when she gets into that? When she's in that. I. Now that you lowered it, I can feel where it's not quite pharyngeal enough. Yes. And I then I pop down to it because right. I realize it's not doing it. Right. So what we want to lose is the popping down and popping up. Yeah. Right? Because you're that's what your voice is kind of doing. It's like flipping. It's like one thing to the other thing. And we want it yeah. to all be just seamless and like be a, a tilt. So that's why I actually think the lower key will help you really grasp this technique. So just say, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. That, yes, that's your mix. Now just say this out. Say, Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Yeah, G say, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Yes, that's your mix. And that's what I want you to feel like you're able to hold on to even as the key goes higher. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So do that one more time. Lock it in. Say, Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Yes, okay, so keep doing exactly what you're doing. I love how you are, you're keeping yourself grounded in what is such a strength for you, which is your mouth resonance. You're opening the mouth nicely, but you're crying it out. Do you guys hear how she's crying that out? Okay, one more time and that's key. Say, Jesus for we'll my family. <laughs> Jesus for my family. 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 You have this. Don't don't get afraid of it. Don't you don't you honestly I can I can hear in your voice from my experience as a coach, you can go three or four keys higher with practice of this. You, could, you will be able to do this same thing three or four keys higher than this, okay? Jesus for my family. Cry it out. Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. Jesus for my family. And there's the break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is the break, okay? I'm not concerned about that one bit um, because we can hear in your voice that your voice is so capable and your brain just starts freaking out as we get higher, okay? But I want you to practice that because you were right up to, you, you're going right up to and above your, your transition spot there in a beautiful mix. And you're gonna, be, you're gonna be able to practice that, finesse that and go easily higher. But I think um, D or even, uh, D flat is gonna be a great key for you. Do, or, do you sing the the stuff, the the low parts low, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Yes. Just just give us a tiny bit of that. Say, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Beautiful. Over every heart and every mind. Over every heart and every mind. Yeah. So say, I just want to speak the name. I just want to speak the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. So you can get that mix going and you can hold on to it on those high notes. And the fact that you can go that low, that you're able to sing it even lower than the key of D and go low and just use that drop off technique I was talking about, yeah. you're going to be gold. All right. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Awesome. Okay. So let me see if I see other hands here. I see Sydney. 
Hey, girl. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Your baby bump is so cute, by the way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mostly. We don't ever get to see it. I know, but when I have so notes, when we're back it up, you, so you can't hide it when I'm walking back there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love it. You're welcome. Did you want to um, sing for so, me or just tell me about my baby bump? Um, so I am actually finding the hard part in this for me right now is getting that breathier light stuff to still sound good. It almost, I'm, I feel like I'm losing so much like texture or tone or something. So, um, totally. yeah, that's, that's the part that I'm feeling is the weakest right now for me. And so specifically which section and are you singing up or down the octave? I'm, I'm up. Yep. Yeah. I'm singing up. Um, so the, the first verse, mm -hmm. like, how do I start the song, mm -hmm. you know, with authority, but still have that light tone? Yeah. Okay. So just sing, sing us this. We'll just start with the first two lines. I just want to speak. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I think that sounds beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's nodding. Um, I think that one thing you can do because you, you specifically said, how do I sing that with authority? Right. Um, and because there's still a way when, even when we're singing really light to, to, to keep authority and to keep a little bit of energy in the voice. Right. And, um, emphasizing the consonants. There's one thing I, I want you to try because you're kind of tending to kind of smooth things out. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Just say this for me. Say, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Just say that. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind. Over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. Because I know there is peace within your presence. Even, even more choppy, because I know there is peace peace within your presence. I know there is peace within your presence. Yes. Okay. So don't even worry about the, we can, we can do fancy things with breathy and edgy qualities and whatever, but I, I want you to just focus on this instead of, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Like, chop up the words more and emphasize the consonants. Just try that. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I love that little, that kind of encouraged your voice more into that drop off too, right? Yeah, now, sure. Over every heart and every mind. Over every heart and every mind. Yes. And I normally, for a lot of songs, don't recommend um, uh, like fully pronouncing the, the final consonant. I think it actually works for this line. Over every heart and every mind. Let's try that. Over every heart and every mind. Yes. Because I know there is peace. Say peace. Peace. Yeah. And, and kind of lean into certain words. Because I know there is peace within your presence. Because I know there is peace within your presence. Yes. So kind of like we're backing off on some words, leaning in. Because I know there. And, and give me a little bit of edge on that. Say, say I know. I know. Because yeah. I know there is peace within your presence. I know there is peace within your presence. That is what I'm talking about. It's yeah. it's really subtle, but it makes a huge difference. And it 
don't you guys feel listening to that? Like it carries more authority, right? Like it sounds very speech. Like it sounds like you're just like, it's very, it's still very quiet. It's still very subdued, but like you really mean that, like you're praying it over us, right? And you're going to do the same thing as it builds, right? Because your name is power. Your name is healing, right? We're going to do that the whole song. Does that help? Totally. Yeah. It felt like it was almost like monotone, which I knew, I know yes. the tones are, but that's how it was feeling. And I was like, that's not like, that didn't feel good enough. So yes, totally. Yeah. That's super helpful. Yeah. So just like, don't be afraid of making it choppy, like of singing it staccato. And as you're like doing the exercise, like do it, uh, go, 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 go. I just want to speak the name Jesus. Like just sing it like that. But that sounded beautiful. I love that. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Anybody else real quick? Does anybody else want to try something out? Okay, I see that hand, Christy. I see that hand. What do you want to work on? Well, for me, I sing the lower chest voice. Great. And that octave jump is par it's, it's paralyzing to me. The moment I try to get to that, it's like my throat just closes. Totally. And then I squeak. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking for a tilt to, to try to keep that relaxed going into that into that part. I'm For absolutely sure. terrified. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? In Jesus name, we break that fear. Yes. We break that fear because it doesn't belong. Okay. So, um, cause it, it really is so much of this is psychological, right? It's our, it's not that our voice isn't capable. It's that our, our brain is saying higher is harder. And the devil is saying, <laughs> I don't want you to carry this with authority, right? Like that's, he's that's had the, a field day with me. That, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't, he doesn't need to. So, and like uh, how ironic is not really the word, but like this song is like, he wants to have a field day with us with this song. Like that is what we are declaring over our congregations. Like it, exactly these lyrics. So yes. he's going to try to play with our mind. Right. So yes. just let, let just, just start where you're, where you feel good and give me a little bit of that verse, verse, uh, just go for, go for verse two. I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break, declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So here we go. So I wanna, mm -hmm. I wanna just. The first thing we have to do is just lock in those the the grip on your vocal cords on those low notes. And again, we all are just cheering you on. We understand it is. I just want to cry. <laughs> yes, it is way more challenging to sing in front of a group like this than even leading in front of our congregations, right? So I yes. I just, I applaud you. I admire you for even raising your hand here and stepping out and saying, I want help, okay? So, um, but let's just lock this and just say say this for me. Say, ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, and really get that in your mouth. Say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, say on this note, ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, can you go a little bit? You've got it. You've, you're, you're getting it in your mouth, but I want you to go lower. Say ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Say ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Ba, and and lean. Okay, so let, let's actually try the, the nut exercise because what I want for you is to get this grounded in your mouth resonance, but remember how we want that nasality as well. So say, non, open your mouth, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Yeah, a little lower, na, 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 na. 
No, 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 no. You're going higher, but I don't even mind because we're getting you into the, where we want is actually to get you into your mix. So that's fine. Just say na, na, na. Na, na, na. Yeah. Now low, that same tone. Na, more nasally. No, 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 yes. no. Yes. Okay. So one thing that I want you to practice, and this will we'll, we'll try it a little bit more, but I want you to really focus on is getting that sound more nasally. Okay. Because that's one thing that holds most singers back from exactly what you're talking about, which is the jumping up the octave, because you're, you're tending to keep it sounding. Do you, you guys hear how her, even her nuz sound a little bit pretty? They sound like na, na, na. Na, na, na. We want na. Na. That's better. Nay, nay, nay. Yes, do the nay. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, nay, nay. 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 Yes. Nay. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, nay, nay. Yes. Okay, so now say, um, Say, uh, say the lyric, say, I, I don't even care what we're not even in a key right now. Say, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Yes. Okay. Till every dark addiction starts to break. Till every dark addiction starts to break. Yes. Declaring there is hope. Keep it right there. Declaring there is hope and, and there is freedom. Yes, I speak Jesus. I speak Jesus. Yes, okay, now take that same. We're just gonna keep speaking it out, but take it higher, okay? Say, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Yeah, keep it right there till every dark addiction starts to break. Till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope. Declaring there is hope. Yes, and there is freedom. And there is freedom. I speak Jesus. I speak Jesus. Okay, I want you, because this is actually where we need it for that the, the verse three, and I want you to actually declare this over yourself, okay? Say, I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Over fear and all anxiety. Over fear and all anxiety. You're preaching it, girl. To every soul held captive. To every soul held captive. Yes, yeah, say, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Yes, okay, you are in your mix. You are so in your mix there. And I want you, just like what we were doing with Sydney, but we were doing in a, in a much lighter, more head dominant tone because it was verse one. I want you to emphasize the consonants here and like chop it up and preach it out, okay? So I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. I just wanna speak the name of Jesus. Over fear and all anxiety. Over fear and all anxiety. Yes! You are in your mix there. How does that feel? I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes. Yes. It was so good. You're gonna make me cry. I'm sorry. No, don't be one bit sorry. Don't be one bit sorry. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. It was so grounded in that mouth resonance, that beautiful richness that you know is your strength. You were engaging such, I call it beautiful. Lots of people don't think it's beautiful, this pharyngeal, but it's beautiful to me because of what it does for our voice. You were engaging that. There was so much passion and conviction and authority there and it wasn't just, you know, oh, this exercise worked, whatever. You chose that. You chose to sing that with authority. You chose that and you can choose that every time. And I believe that and I declare that over you that 
even just tonight in this call, that that fear, that anxiety, that field day that you say the devil's had with you, that's broken in Jesus' name. Yes, I, I received that. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, we're going to end for tonight because I just, I love that. I love you guys. This was so fun. Um, I was feeling pretty tired going into this tonight and I honestly feel so energized. It is such a powerful song, guys. This is such a powerful thing to declare. Um, I know so many of you already do this at your churches. Uh, I'm leading it this Sunday. Now I'm like super excited about it, but I just, I speak blessing over you as you declare this over your congregations. I speak uh, confidence over you, just as we were just working with Christy, that any of that anxiety um, that's that's been over you as you've sung this song, that that's broken in Jesus name. I love you guys so much. Okay, till next time, bye. Let me know how these strategies go for you. If you have any questions, just post them below. As always, I encourage you to check out my courses at theworshipvocalist.com. The most important thing you can do for your voice is to be exercising it consistently three to five times per week using specific strategic exercises that work out your chest, head, and pharyngeal resonators and train your voice to mix them together. I have hundreds of exercises that I've created for you along with video demonstrations and downloadable audio workouts. So if you don't already have a Worship Oak List subscription, make sure to check that out at theworshipoaklist.com.